Hey guys, OpenAI recently announced the release of GPT-5 and ChatGPT Agent. This is a complete game changer for any company looking to generate new business in 2025 using AI. In this video, I will show you how I use Clay.com and GPT-5 to get thousands of leads at scale, analyze companies and generate millions of hyper-personalized AI messages. I use the Exit system to generate millions for my clients, bring hundreds of people to my events and fill the calendars of dozens of salespeople with thousands of meetings. I will show you everything from zero to one so you can copy what they do and apply to yours. Let's dive into it. Okay, I assume that everybody knows what GPT-5 is because of course Sam Altman made like a huge launch but for some reasons if you were living under a rock in the last months, GPT-5 is the brand new model of chat GPT where you have GPT-5 with more advanced knowledge and chat GPT agent, which is basically an interface who can actually search the web and gather more advanced information in websites for a better user experience and actually getting more information from the web and from your research. While maybe you don't know what Clay.com is, Clay.com is actually the most advanced sales operations tool out there and it can basically augment what a normal sales people can actually do. Uh, with Clay's you can actually perform super advanced use cases such as prospect high quality leads for your reps, automate away all manual account and lead research, use AI to draft personalized copy for any prospect, automate prospecting and data enrichment without leaving your CRM. And in particular, guys, today I just want to bring you like a very practical case where we can actually use Clay GPT-5 and Smart Lead to actually get all an entire market thanks to Clay, analyze leads, find people, scrape emails, get more context about the companies and other AI personalization with GPT-5, and finally sending hundreds of thousands of emails through Smart Lead. This very specific use case is a real use case, actually where we wanted to engage basically real estate funds and real estate investors because we want to organize a gathering, a meeting, maybe a mastermind in the United States to actually invite all the real estate investors among the states in one location for a paid dinner, for a networking event, for business and sponsorships, so that we can actually drive revenue for, uh, in my case, my client, but it could be my event. What we want to do at scale is uh, actually scraping all of the funds, especially the real estate funds in the United States. From there, we really want to understand whether it is a real estate fund or not, find the people, scrape email information, get more context about the real estate portfolio, about the real estate company, for example, commercial versus residential, the category, the asset under management, so that we can actually craft a super personalized invite mentioning all of this information so that we can actually skyrocket the reply rate and we can contact all the real estate investors and fund managers of real estate companies in the United States. Cool, having said this, let's jump into it and let's start from analyze leads. The very first thing that I will do is jumping into Clay and with Clay, I actually want to get all the real estate companies in the United States. What I can do is pretty easy, just click add here and companies. I already did this and just to clarify, I put as a filter just the size of the company, real estate found as a keyword, United States as the geographical area. In just a couple of clicks, we actually got all the companies that are probably real estate funds or real estate investors working in funds. We have different columns, we have different data points, such as name, description, size, type, location, etc, etc. Now, let's jump into the first part with GPT-5, which is actually analyzing the leads. And here comes the GPT-5 part and thanks to Clay, we can actually connect GPT-5 to Clay. And if you do other enrichment, Clay agent, 
which is a live agent from clay.com, you can actually configure your GPT-5. As you can see, you can choose your own model. In this case would be GPT-5 mini is enough. You can use your account or the clay credits and you can actually get information from the web, any kind of information that you actually want. As a very first step, what I want to do is to actually analyze the leads. I really want to understand if the leads that I scraped are actually real estate fund or they are not. This is extremely important guys because for example let's say that you use other lead generation softwares such as Polo, such as Listkit, such as Zminfo. When you actually put as a keyword real estate or real estate fund you would actually get a lot of results but when you double check most of the results would be super dirty. Inside the list you will find software companies selling to real estates because they are under the real estate category. Maybe you have agencies working with real estate companies. So it's very hard, even in 2025, to actually get very accurate B2B data. But with Clay and GPT-5, the game completely changed and we are actually able to do this. So let's get back to our Clay agent and we can say something like for domain and company name, try to understand if this company is actually a real estate fund or company investing in real estate. If so, return true. If not, return false. The interesting thing about this is, of course, AI, GPT-3, 4, 4 or 5 are a little bit hallucinated. So it's difficult to actually control what is the output of the AI. But thanks to Clay, we can actually say only return true or false or only return text, URL, different option, emails. So we can actually guide GPT in the best way to actually extract the right information. Cool, let's start from true false, save, run the rows. Great. So the first part is done. We actually get true or false. Next step is uh, getting the people. We can get this with AI or we can get this with clay. So we can do some another GPT, another clay agent enrichment. We can duplicate this and we can say something like for domain and name, try to find the name of the owner or the president or the CEO of this real estate company. Just return name and surname of one person. This case is text field. We actually use a only run if because we only want to run this column is it's really a real estate fund. So use AI. If response is true, then only run if response is true. Output is correct. Save formula, save and run the rows. And we can actually get the name of all the owners. Basically what Clay and GPT-5 is doing is actually going inside of each website and extracting the name of the owners because of course you see if you go to a website like this which is the website of a pretty famous global real estate private equity and you go in about us or strategies or news investor portal you actually get a section with the executive team at least with the CEO the owner maybe the sales manager maybe the marketing manager and GPT is actually doing this for us but at scale for example let's click on the first First, we can even get what is the reasoning that GPT-5 did. ACRE lists less Menkes as founding partner is identified across leadership pages and bios as a founder and senior executive of the firm. This matches the requested owner presidency or level role. Amazing. If you double check, you will actually notice that this is the right CEO. Let's double check. Yes. yes. And with just a very fast Google search, we can actually understand that is the right guy. From there, what we can actually do is we have all the names and from the names, we can actually get to all the emails. This is not a GPT-5 feature, even if we can actually use GPT-5 to get all the emails because most of the times they are online, okay? Otherwise, we can just use Clay combining the first name and the domain to actually get a good coverage of the email addresses. From this, so we can actually validate this email and we can only run this if this is true and this is not empty. So as you can see, the first part is done. We actually got all the real estate funds. We figure out if they are really a real estate company or not using GPT-5 to actually search on the web if it is really investing in real estate. From there, we actually got all the owner, all the presidents and if we really want, we can even get all the people in the management team. And from there, we were actually able to enrich the majority, actually 90%, given this small test of the private B2B 
addresses. Okay, let's dive now into the second part, which is actually using GPT-5, so AI, to actually gather even more uh, sophisticated and in-depth information about our target market, add the AI personalization and craft cold emails like this. As you can see, it goes really in-depth, it's really written with the language of real estate investors, and there are a lot of dynamic variables that will get personalized at scale using the, all the data points that we gathered during our research with GPT-5. In particular, if you read fast the text, hey name, managing a real estate fund is a demanding and often solitary path where a single mistake can jeopardize an entire track record. If I can connect you with 500 plus potential limited partners through our private real estate investor meetup in Boston or New York, would you be interested in joining us? We are expected hundreds of active investor operators focused on commercial or residential, so we would use GPT-5 to actually understand if these companies are operating into commercial or residential deals aligned with your current A amount. AUM is like asset under management, so some companies have like 5 million under management other billions under management. It's uh, basically how much they were able to raise from investors. So we can actually quote uh, this amount in the email and we can actually show them that it's not an event with like or only small fishes or super giants. It's really aligned with what is their uh, AUM. Then uh, we can actually quote the specific category of real estate investment that uh, they are investing in. So it really seems an email for them. It really seems that I made huge. It really seems that I did very in-depth research about the company. And uh, in a moment, we will go over all of these variables and how can we build that using clay.com and GPT-5. Let's start from the easiest, which is commercial versus residential. Commercial is like unit of houses or commercial, like retail property. Residential is a residential, like a villa, like a single bedroom, like an apartment, etc. Okay, how can we do this? And again, Clayagent and GPT-5, duplicate. For domain and name, try to understand if this real estate fund is investing in residential or commercial deals. Only return residential or commercial. Okay. In this case, again, we can use select and we put two options, which are residential, commercial, save and run the rows. Okay, commercial, commercial, commercial. Some of them are actually residential. Now we can go to step two, which is the real estate category. For example, some, let's say that they are focused in commercial, some of them actually maybe only operate on short-term real estate like Airbnbs. And we really want to gather this data point inside of their website. How can we do this? Same way, duplicate. For domain and name, try to understand if this, try to understand what is the specific category of deals they are investing in. Only Sure, the category in maximum three words. Don't use comma. Do not invent. Be as specific as possible. You can't use generic terms like real estate. Output is text, of course. Save and run the rows. Okay, we are getting the first results. Okay, great. This was exactly what I meant at the beginning. The category of the deal, like multi-tenant light industrial, like single family rentals, like infill industrial logistics, like mixed use multifamily. So the subcategory of the deal. Now, the last part, but not least, is actually putting everything together and crafting hyper-personalized cold emails like this. So what we can do is get the text, okay? From the text, we can actually create a formula. From the formula, we can say if response is true. So if it's really a piece of real estate, a name, first we actually have to get the name, uh, only the first name of the founder, and this is easy to do. We can create a new formula saying from name, get the first name. Because of course, we can't really say, hey, with the full name, but we only really need the first name, okay? And we can call this first name, and now we have all the variables. We have first name, we have residential versus 
commercial, we have, uh, let's call it category, and we have the first name. So let's go back in building our formula. If response is true, return a first name, blah, 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 commercial or residential, residential versus commercial, the amount, okay. I didn't remember to actually get the amount. Let's get the amount, duplicate. For domain and name, try to understand what's the um, a asset under management of this real estate fund. Don't guess, don't guess. If you can't find it, leave blank. Return it, return it in this format or text. Save, run and rouse. Let's see what happened. Great. Now we have all the pieces of information. Hopefully we can actually finish to write the cold email copy. As you can see, it's actually it's not difficult, but uh, you have to be detail oriented because there are a lot of variables and we really want uh, like a very high quality outreach, not really spamming, even if we can actually send with very high volume. So let's go back, add formula. If response is true, return a first name, blah, 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 commercial versus residential amount. Yes. And the category, great. If response is true and confidence, it contains high return. Okay. And here's our call. ALS, managing a real estate file and blah 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 residential versus commercial the right asset under management and the category of the deal if you want to actually make refine it a little bit first this must be lowercase and we can solve this with a formula this can be better sometimes and i even added while writing a condition that only return the copy if this is green because when it's red is low confidence so the likelihood of getting nothing or something not accurate is bad so i prefer not to say nothing instead of spamming and sending something that is broken or wrong and that's it guys at the end using clay.com using gpt5 to actually do research and ai personalization and finally getting the copy the next step would be actually sending everything to smartlead but i can leave this to other tutorials you can find in my youtube channel but it would be extremely easy because we already have all the copy we just need one custom field to actually move all the text from clay to smartly then actually prospect all the emails that we have already found here and that's it in this video we got a better understanding of what clay is and how we can leverage the new gpt5 to analyze leads and create hyper personalized messages i always share the best information i have in my content but let's be honest if the problem were just information everyone would be a billionaire with perfect apps while information is crucial most people struggling with clay actually have an execution problem, not an information problem that can be solved with accountability, community, and one-on-one -on -one guidance from someone experienced. That's why I run a one-to-one -one coaching program that turns you into a clay expert and go-to-market engineer in just six weeks. It worked for over 100 people and it will work for you. So if you are struggling with the complexities of clay and AI, want to progress fast and maybe land a six-figure gigs or job, click the link in the description, see you over there, and let's see if you qualify.